If you want to make your player similar to Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, keep on watching because I got you covered. Alright, so I went back on 2K19. You know, I wanted to make Kevin Garnett or Tim Duncan, so I went back on the game. I looked at their signatures, attributes, their badges, everything you could think of. So I did my analysis. They are obviously two-way players. If you have watched them played in their prime, probably, arguably, you know, two of the best power forwards in the game. And one thing I noticed, obviously both can play offense and defense, so their main badge on Hall of Fame was defensive stopper for both Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett and obviously they have tons of other badges and um, defensive anchor as well so obviously you can't exactly replicate these players on 2k they won't let you with the archetype system uh, they have a new pie chart this year but technically it's still an archetype system it's just in disguise <laughs> uh, so yeah I've tried so many builds as you can see I've tried two different accounts I made seven on this one I mean six on this one and six on the other one which is the max I made over like 12 12 13 builds and here you go you gotta pick the before last one this way they could play some offense and defense because this year the playmaking I'm sorry the post moves which is what KG and Tim Duncan are best at is in playmaking which is weird so you gotta upgrade playmaking to get post moves because apparently you know it's all about your footwork and everything so I guess that's why they put it there I played with all of these attributes for for hours and I made so many different builds and in the end I got players like Antoine Jameson I got players like Lamarcus Aldridge Marvin Bagley but those were not the players I was looking for I got Elton Brand so look I've been playing with the numbers around and you can see on the right side the badges go up and down for each point so these are the maximum points you could use without losing a badge and for the finishing badge you won't get much and the shooting badge you get 8 if you put it like I did and for playmaking as you can see I'm just playing with the points it goes down one badge because I put it exactly how much points you need but obviously there's probably a different way but this is the way I found and I don't want to spend you know more hours trying to figure it out so obviously 611, 247 max out the waistband you get additional blocking and for your takeover you can pick whatever you like but obviously Tim Duncan and KG are beast defensively they can also get rebounds so I want to do the defense and there you have it you have your two-way playmaker Tim Duncan, Paul Millsap, Laurie Markkinen and for the badges I put back down finisher for the one finishing badge because I want to be able to post up a little bit better back, back down defenders and for the shooting badges I wanted to get all the help I can get because you know my mid-range is only a 66 so whenever I decide to shoot from the mid-range I don't have all these different badges to be able to help me out and obviously these are all testing you know a testing phase so you could put whatever badge you want but this is whatever so I'm still testing out these badges I don't really know how they work obviously you gotta have intimidated or maxed out that's a defensive uh, defensive stopper basically rebound chaser I have it on goal defensive leader I'm testing it out I'm trying to see if it actually helps my team as much uh, because whatever you do <laughs> the computer on your team always makes dumb decisions anyways and they always miss shots so I'm just testing it out look at this coast to coast right here man that downhill badge is probably one man fast break on this game they just renamed it it's very <laughs> it's very crazy as a badge for a big man because as you can see I'm seven nearly seven feet tall and I'm pushing the ball like this can you <laughs> oh my goodness my guy is 247 pounds oh man <laughs> and this one I have unpluckable so people or computer when they reach like that and you get stuck on those animations you can't really do anything so you gotta have that badge to help you out because when you get stuck in animations it's really frustrating that intimidator badge right there helped out my defense I find Tim Duncan oh <laughs> I mean I found Marc Gasol in the paint I was about to say I found Tim Duncan but that's who I am or I'm trying to be at least that's another animation I got stuck in they passed it inside the paint and I got stuck Draymond Green bumped me 
And look at my Intimidator badge right here. It affected Clay Thompson and I was on the other side of the paint, which is crazy. I wasn't even near Clay Thompson. Look, my badge is going to highlight right here. So I don't know if that affected Clay Thompson or was that Draymond Green because he was behind me. I'm not too sure. But it's still activated. And Kyle Lowry was going in the paint. I already knew he's going to miss because it's Kyle Lowry. You know, he only makes one shot out of 10 every game. This is the one shot he's going to make right here because I helped him out with the screen. Uh, but throughout the game, he was breaking. So I always ran for the rebound whenever he shot the ball. Steph Curry is going to miss right here. I'm going to get the board and watch me push the ball like LeBron James. I get the rebound, quick first step, and downhill all activates. I could have shot the ball there, but I wanted to see if my dimer is going to do anything. And Kyle Lowry misses. Offensive rebound, put back. But like I wanted to say earlier, don't take these gameplays too seriously because you're a 99 and you're playing on pro difficulty. So it doesn't really matter. Almost any build could perform well in this stage. Uh, because, you know, in pro difficulty, you could do almost anything you want. And you're a 99, so I wouldn't take this too seriously because obviously when you go into the park or if you go into pro-am or if you go into other game modes, it's going to be way different. The gameplay, the speed... And they're probably going to have other patches as well. So I'm not taking this too seriously. And you can see here, I tried to uh, see what the defense is going to give me. I got it in the high post, just like in real life, how Kevin Garnett or Tim Duncan would do. They would catch it in the high post and see what the defense gives them. And I blew by Draymond Green like he wasn't even there with my quick first step. I get the rebound, go downhill again. But I missed the layup. But I was just trying to showcase... The rebounding and the speed. Look at that monster rebound. Going coast to coast again. I pass it out to Norman Powell. I'm going to repost because I got the mismatch. And what I like this year that I noticed is that when you have a little guy on you as a big, it's like they're not even there, which is what's supposed to happen in real life. Like every time Curry would contest me, it would only say 3% covered. So it's like he's barely there, like I said. So I got the rim protector badge right there. I'm going coast to coast. You already know they're going to miss the shot. Get the rebound. <laughs> so, man, my teammates are missing so many shots, but it's all good. I could practice my rebounding. Another mismatch right here. They're not bringing the double. 6% covered. So even if I miss the shot, if I don't perfect release it, it's only 6% covered. Rebound chaser activates. Quick first step downhill. They're scared to shoot the ball. So he's going to end up turning it over, go out of bounds. It's all good. I'm just testing out the rebounding, the downhill badge. Pick Dodger activates right here. Helps me get through the screen. So like I said, I'm just uh, trying out these badges. I don't know what all of them can do exactly because the game is still new, obviously. I'm just trying to make my guy as versatile as possible. So that's why I mix the badges around. Because Tim Duncan and KG, they could do everything on defense and on offense so i just try to put bronze everywhere try to have a little bit of badges everywhere so depending on the situation i'll be set but when the game comes out i'm probably not gonna do that i'm probably gonna have more hall of fame badges and more gold badges than bronze depending on you know which badges are more effective when the full game comes out because in this demo it's all about testing it out you know that's why it's called <laughs> uh, sorry I was looking at something so that's why it's called you know testing your my player out so I made like three different accounts so many different builds Steph Curry is in the paint again easy bucket so if you guys want to see more builds let me know I made so many I made the Nikola Jokic build yesterday and that's a great build I made Blake Griffin Sean Kemp Amari Stoudemire all those builds, I have it on my hard drive. So if you want me to post them, the build video, let me know. Because I tried almost every big man build and combination. I also made a Shaquille O'Neal build. 7-3 max weight. Yo, that Shaq is a beast. <laughs> uh, so if you want to see that or my other builds, just let me know. I'll try to upload them tomorrow or as soon as possible. Uh, and if you guys saw that clip with Draymond Green earlier... I was trying out the Dream Shake badge, which effectively increases your pump fake skills. And Draymond Green ended up flagrant fouling me, so I guess it worked on that particular play. So the video is winding down. Unfortunately, I missed that layup. He went up weakly. It's probably because I'm tired. 
But if you guys enjoyed it, let me know, drop a like, drop a comment. Ended with 35, 13, and 4 blocks. Pretty Tim Duncan like. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G Flash on Twitter.